see you again. Of Good course, we are again. at the uh, Nimeral Minlab. Exactly. Uh, it's a bit of a helter skelter <laughs> of a name. <laughs> of it's name, back yeah. to front. So tell us how you came to that again. Uh, I will tell you in another city. Ah, not now. Okay. <laughs> it's better. Well, not I remember to. last year we saw that as like, did you spell it wrong? We had quite fun about it. But yes. you showed me some great stuff. Yes. So exactly. what have you got to show us today? Today I have uh, not so much, but several cool pieces. Great. So do you want to see them? Yes, please. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, ah, definitely. Okay, let's go inside. Secret please. door again. Uh, you remember for sure the find of Mimetite from Thailand. Yes. That was done 25 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was lucky to run into something nice and that nobody has ever seen from this locality. So these are basically skeletal crystals of oh, mimetite. Wow. Yes. This actually is like a tripod footprint. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that, everyone. Now, I remember this find. It, find it occurred on some sort of matrix and they're tiny, small prisms, weren't they? They're quite large, yeah. up to about a centimetre. Yeah, about a centimetre, one were, in the half. They were prismatic yeah. crystals, but any of this skeletal stuff was not out at the time? No, this not. This was exactly at the same time, but the, find, the guy that found this place and this material didn't put on the market. So really? So they it's been kept, kept everything, and uh, so and far I understood nobody there, you knew hear, about look, this style. You can see that, so. like rosette. So yeah. obviously a lot of the, the pyromorphite group, they, do, they can occur in this sort of typical habit. habit. Yes. Can't Look they? at this piece. This is super cool. Oh, that's so yeah, that is awesome. Look at that. This is a stack of skeletal crystals. Yes. Uh, and look at the geometry here. Yeah, the it's geometry where they it's, it's almost grown faster on the outside than it has on the, on the inside, like a hopper growth. Very much of this is seen in pyromorphite group and also vanadinite as well. Vanadinite yes, can yes, occur yes. like this, can't it? As well. And so this has been sort of stored away for years and you've come across... You, this has been stashed away for about 25 years. Wow. And I ran into the possibility to make a purchase of this material recently and so I acquired a group of these specimens. Yeah, yeah. And I really like this material, this style, because really something that you don't see so often and from this locality was not so known or so, was not yeah, known. Yeah, it, it's not, this is another very good it's example. It's not typical of the locality. No. Exactly. As we knew it, of course, now these are here, it's like, exactly. okay, that's great, look at that. There is a mine in the UK called uh, Wheel Alfred okay. in Cornwall. In the late 19th century, they found crystals of pyromorphite mm -hmm. that were bright green and almost exactly the same oh, as this. Wow, interesting. Exactly, it's, it's incredible. So just the color was different. Just the color was different, but the morphology yeah. and everything was perfect. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's quite a collection there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it's a small collection of selected... Yeah, you get Floater, weird, crystal, weird look at this weird sculptural shapes, that's right. It's super nice. Yeah. So it's imagine really, it's really stacks nice. of prismatic crystals grown fast, like, yes. like this. Yeah. Yes. That's brilliant, thank you. <laughs> this is... Uh, that's, the, that's how yeah. I remember the, the locality. This is the classic crystal shape. Yeah, so this is, this is obviously on matrix. On matrix, yes. And this the crusts of crystals, mimetite crystals, yes. all over the surface. Prisms, not like this, but this is prisms. Prism, yes. There are two different kinds of prisms. These are a little bit more fat, yeah. and this is more elongated. So this piece is also quite unique because it's actually the biggest found. Yeah, yeah. The biggest one the I've locality, ever seen was yes. probably about that size, I think. I've never yeah. seen anything like this. This is about 45 centimeter. Of course, it's not homogeneous. It's a little yeah. bit heterogeneous for the size and the color of the crystals yeah. and the quality, of course. But uh, for the locality, I think it's a very important piece. Absolutely. And uh, although I've been asked many in the last uh, days if I would have trimmed this piece as far as I have the laboratory, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. I would rather prefer to keep as it is because it's a really impressive piece and sure. it's a museum piece. And also for me, um, I think it puts it in context because if you trim it, you don't get a true idea of everything that is there. Yes. You see what I mean? So, you know, you can see how it goes from coarse crystals here all the way to much finer here. And I yes. love this part here. That would, this, see, that would make yeah. a great specimen in itself. This, this would make a fantastic piece, actually, but to this see, area. Yeah, but to see it all together, Yes, it tells you a lot you, about how the deposit. Yeah, and looks actually, in the it's not so flat because you see some waves. You see there is a step here. Yeah, it's nice, and it's all complete. You see also here on the 
matrix around is all full of crystals. Yeah, it's all the way, all all the way, all way around, isn't it? All the yeah. way around. Also here on the sides. Yeah, it's that's all complete. Superb. It's like uh, it came out like this and... And will, it's been preserved like this? Yeah, and it's been preserved like this in this box. This is the original box. Wow. From Thailand. So <laughs> This is uh, mm. quite a rarity. It's grutite. It's a manganese mineral. Manganese okay. oxide, yeah? Manganese oxide. Yeah. It's hydrated oxide, Yeah. if I'm not wrong. Okay. So this is actually from Ukraine and has been found... Wow. Yeah, look at this. Has been found in between uh, 2010, 2012 in this big talc quarry, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, basically these are veins of uh, quartz grained um, talc and etched talc. Mm -hmm. And inside these veins, the manganese crystallized. And you have also a little bit of rosettes of barite. Barite and things, yes, yeah. little things. Yeah. And actually it's very nice piece mm -hmm. because you see uh, very evidently the rosettes of the crystal of grotite that is uh, very rare to find. And they are shining, there is no alteration, so it's quite an wow, important that thing. That is so rich. Uh, for, for our viewers, um, when I was in the museum, there was a lot of research going into manganese minerals. And so people wanted to study the various manganese minerals. And we would take pieces off the specimen mm -hmm. to lend for research. And okay. grautite was one of those minerals that we had so little of it. Okay, that so we you can want never some? sample it, and I'm just saying that. <laughs> and then some? suddenly it's like this is this is the the, the, the sort of yeah. nirvana of this mineral yes. because there's so much there. It's amazing that it, it, you know it's so rich. Yeah, it's very and rich. How useful it is for doing uh, research on manganese minerals because they're great indicators yeah. of the environment. So this is another example of bigger rosettes. Oh wow! Yeah, I'll just give you this. That is great. I know how rare this, this mineral is. These are big. So they're rosettes of crystals up yes, probably up to about, you know, a centimetre, really, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, look at the top here. And it's, it's, all, it's all, there's a matrix, so there's a contact point here. Contact point, yes. Yeah. That is superb. So this is a very nice and aesthetic piece. Oh. This. That is super. Of course, to find specimens and to obtain specimens like this uh, is not easy. And actually, this quality is among the best quality for Gemini's luster. And uh, I'll tell you what, I've seen some specimens. I've seen a lot rarely. of specimens from here. They occur in those little geodes, don't they, and things. But the luster and how they stand, proud. Yes. From each Calm, other, yes. Yeah. And the geometry of the crystal. So you crystal can see are. the perfect chisel-shaped crystals. And actually, when you look at them, you can tell by the luster. Because look at the rainbow effects you're getting from the from the crystal faces themselves. I don't know if we capture that in camera, but that is a superb, great colour, great transparency, great morphology. It's really it's, it's best of species. Yeah, this is a different morphology of crystals. This more the. Oh, Hedgehog. these are, they're, they're more, yes. um, in not mineralogical terms, but pointy. Pointy, yes. Yeah, look at that. So instead of having the, the flat chisel chops, you've got really steep pinacoids that are giving these, these different morphology. It's yeah. super rare to obtain this morphology with this quality. Yeah. The good color, usually they are much more pale and uh, the luster is not good in this morphology. But this is almost the same quality as the other piece. Yeah. So for morphology, I would really, I really prefer this one. But for the quality, this is, of course, the... Tell you what, that, yes. both of them yeah. are stunning. And this actually has a little bit of blue shadows inside. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you can just pick up a slight, very slight, slight different color, yes, you can't see? you? This is slightly, slightly more, we call it a duck egg, a duck egg blue. Duck egg, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is more, of a, it's got more luster. And you're picking up some, the light picks up some more purplish mm. hue to it in here. I really, I'm happy that you appreciate this and it oh, was yeah, uh, my we pleasure do. to meet you. No, pleasure again. And show you we'll my see you next year. We'll see yeah? you soon, yes, Yeah, absolutely, thank soon. you. Well, next year, because year. soon, one year is running very quickly. Yeah, well, as you get older, yeah. the years go quicker, you know. Yeah, it looks like yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>